This is 39 hours spanning over three days in the first week of June and split into six episodes. Four teams spread across North America are competing to catch the biggest fish of as many different species as they can. Team Manitoba is Aaron Weeb and Jay Siemens. Team Dakota Lithium is Adam Conrad and Sean Conrad. Team Tackle Box Lottery is Paul Castellano and Taro Murata. We got three days of this, man. Team Acme Kalins is Eric Hadia and Alex Perrick. One point is available yes, for yes, the yes, longest yes, legal yes. fish of any species over 10 inches. Live updates must be submitted to the live target leaderboard, and the team with the most points at the end of the 39 the hours the will be awarded $10,000 to donate to a charity of their choice, courtesy of Alumacraft Boats. This is 39 Hours Season 2, presented by Aquaview. Good morning. It is final day of 39 Hours. We slept in the truck last night. I don't know, are you fried? Uh, no, I'm getting back into it. Coffee, good things. Coffee's good. Welcome to the Palm Manitoba. The caravan drove last night. So Jay and I both naps and we got a little bit more sleep than we thought. Maybe not, maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe, maybe an hour. Hours. An hour? Are you uh, kidding? We're gonna crush today. Like now this is gonna this be is it. hour 27 that we're starting in. And we're in, we're in stealing mode. We're done playing nice. We got a couple points in mind that we want to take from Dakota Lithium. They had a massive day yesterday and uh, it's time to pluck some of those back to their rightful owners. Team Dakota Lithium. Man, congratulations. That was a monster, monster brown shot. I can't wait to see the footage. Jump three times apparently. Gorgeous looking fish. Those guys killed it, killed it last round. Jumped all the way up. Acme, Kalins, don't know what happened to them. Probably similar to us. This format is way, way harder, way harder than it looks when you're watching this. But when you're actually here involved doing it, you know, you got the ideas ahead of time and you try to plan and prepare. But in the moment, things change, sleep deprivation, you know, weather changes, et cetera. So hopefully we can stack a few points today. I think the plan for Taro, he said, was five. He wants to try to get five new species here. We feel like we gave the guys a huge, a huge advantage yesterday by not scoring any points in the last round. So we allowed some teams to climb up a bit. Today's a new day, so we'll see what happens. I'm not gonna hit the dock? No, no, you're good. I'm not gonna hit the dock? No! Thanks. You're not gonna hit the dock! Okay. I don't normally get up this early. But when it's the biggest fishing competition in the world, you get up early. What do you want me to do while we're driving? We need uh, like basically sturgeon rig type stuff, eh? So the current will be strong. Okay. On the heavy rods? Yeah. Just because we need to use basically eight ounces, I think. Eight? Six to eight, yeah. Brace yourself. Okay, we're good. What was it? Stick, I didn't know how bad it might be. I'm stopping in one minute right here. Well, here we are, we've lasted like 10 minutes down the river. This is the Saskatchewan River, which drains like tons of Western Canada before it comes here through the Paw Manitoba, eventually flows into Lake Winnipeg. And it's mostly a shallow river, lots of 15 to 20 foot. But on this bend, we've got like 40, 50 feet. It's the deepest water by far in the area. And maybe have a chance at a burbot, maybe a chance at a sturgeon. Ultimately, we're here to catch a giant gold eye but in the low light period, we do have a chance at a burbot. So that's what we're gonna do just for the first 20 minutes or something. We've got go time in two minutes. We drove all night. We drove up north in Northern Saskatchewan. We are looking for an easy point here. We're up here at Pine Lake. We just want an easy splake and we wanna get out of here and go to a brook trout lake. There has been no splake or brook trout put up yet in this series. So we just wanna get this and get out of here. Another thing is this lake is not really that fishable from shore, but well, it's super clear. We will see how it goes. One minute till we could drop line, so we could literally cast when we get down there. This is the latest we've been at them. Yep. So nice out. Should be out there. Tick tock. Tick tock. Good morning, officer. Hey, buddy. Hello, Do you want to go fishing? Yeah, I'm coming in right now. Okay, man, you take your time. We'll see you when we see you. See you, buddy. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. I get it. Okay, bye. <laughs> He's coming. He's coming. We are using little Cleos today, all day. Little Cleo, all day. We are good to go. 434. Got to really bomb it to get that in the strike zone there.
Whoa. I don't know about this, Adam. Let's go get the boat, Sean. Hey. We can't really get our spoons in the strike zone long enough because the shoreline just shoots out 30, 40 yards. I totally agree. We got to secure the point. Yep. I like what we're doing. Stabbing. It basically looks like a catfish rig at this point. A bunch of sliding weights. They're smaller, but they add up to probably seven or eight ounces. And then I've got a chunk of gold eye. Burbit do kind of prefer cut bait often. Like a cut Cisco is probably their first cast. Favorite food. But they'll eat worms and minnows and all sorts of other stuff. They're not that fussy. They're not that fussy. They're more fussy to time of day, time of year. We don't have time of year on our side, but we sort of have time of day on our side. It'd be nice if it was getting darker, not lighter. Focus. Everything happens today. Needs to. Everything. Like It's over today. This is it. You're going to see it in two episodes, but we're going to live it in one very long day. Have to get burbot. We need a gold eye today. We need a pike today. We need a sauger today. We need a brookie today. We might mm. need a walleye mm. bigger than 30 inches. Well, we've got minnows. Not one of them is alive. And these are kind of like key for bowfin. Paul's not gonna like it. His eyes are gonna water. I'm so scuffed up, like maybe more than ever, but so is everyone else. We're gonna make the best of it. We're not leaving this lake till we get a splake. If it takes six and a half hours, it's gonna take six and a half hours. This was everything that was scheduled years in advance. And I love taking points away from Team Manitoba. So yes, I'm gonna sleep for 39 hours after this is done. It's go time. Yeah. At the end of today, $10,000 will be donated to Kids Help Home. Hopefully. No, no, least, it will be. It at will least $1,000 will. Yeah, I just definitely got a nibble. Yep, nibble. Nibble. Come on. He's chewing on it. Please, please be the burbot. Usually a burbot's gonna stay with it. It's so easy to give up on this, but it's so easy to give this another, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and maybe put that burbot on the board. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I like that. Yeah? I don't know. Is there something? If, it, if it's something, it's tiny. Yeah, yeah, there's a little fish on here, Jay. Come to the back, come to the back. Ah, oh, it's small. Come on, be a little burbot. Yes, don't, oh, what are you doing? I can't see anything. Yeah, it's a burbot. Oh my goodness, yes. it's a burbot. We got a burbot. We got it, we, we got, got a burbot. We're done. Well, we're not done. Well, we're, we're gonna, gonna go to a second longer, aren't we? Yeah. We just caught a burbot. Yes. It is so tough to get an open water burbot. We got a couple things on our side, including a deep hole and like kind of darkness period here. This is not a big burbot. I'll but grab that bump port. <laughs> they are hard to hold if you know anything about burbot. You can't really get a burbot smaller than this. Okay, 14.75. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. not getting any bigger than that. 14.75 inch burbot on the Saskatchewan River. Might be small, it might be ugly, but it's a point. Yes! We so gotta fish good. for another two minutes just because okay, yeah, you know. Yeah. Middle of summer, catching a burbot, very rare. It's June right now, so you're getting into a period where it's very difficult to catch a burbot. Time of day is everything. Yeah. Like Aaron's plan was like, we're gonna roll up, we're gonna catch a burbot, we're gonna get a gold eye, we're gonna get a big pike. So good. Team Tackle Box Lottery was like the only team we were worried about for the first two periods, and then now, it's just all we care about is Team Dakota Lithium. The problem is, is that we're setting them up to steal that burbot point tonight in the dark somewhere. If anyone can steal a burbot point from us today, Anyone in the whole world, it's those guys. They own the all tackle world record 25 pound burbot. And we're going head to head with them and there's some other guys I'm not sure. Is there yeah. other people in this competition? I don't think so. Who knows, after this period, maybe Acme Kalins has made a giant run at it because everybody has a day, right? Things are getting crazy. Great that the time is split up, but then while you're planning your trips, you're like, okay, we could fish for six and a half hours here and then we could jump to this spot. We could hit so many different lakes now and catch so many big fish. But when are you gonna sleep? You don't think about that. <laughs> so we didn't sleep. Oh, there's one. Good job, it looks like a better one. Oh yeah. Okay, we are into a better splake. I am using a blue and silver Clio. Doing some rip jigging there and kind oh, of yeah. turned them on. Oh man, that's like a 16. Yeah, good. Just gotta get them in. 
We've got ultra light gear here, five pound <clears throat> test. That's a better spike. Yeah, I'm impressed with that fish. Good at him. Let's just get him in and we're gonna be super happy and we're gonna be out of here. Or I'm just super tired. Oh yeah, nice, Blake. Yeah, nice. Okay, let's go into the boat launch. Yeah, you just slowly troll us, get us there. We are measuring a splake. Mouth closed. 15 inch. We're gonna go 15 inch. Splake. Gone. We're out of here. How are you, man? I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. I'm not lying to myself. Last day, round five. You know, got a good foundation. Castmaster's good here. Okay. Three quarter. You know what's so good about the Castmaster, honestly, out here, is something about the design is so perfect. It, it doesn't foul on your line as much. So when you're down 100 feet and you're jigging, you gotta bring up 100 feet of line every time when your hook fouls. Like with the Castmaster, it's the one that doesn't do it. And once in a while, they fall, but way less. Very rare. Very rare. So we got a Castmaster on the one, and then a 10 pound braid with a fluorocarbon leader. So that gives you like wicked feel in deep water. And then you still got the floor because this water is super clear. And the Castmaster's got this really cool fall and slack and grabs lots of flash. And then the other rod, I'm gonna rig up small drop shot. You know, a little swim bait, Tarot saying like something goby looking or, you know, baby perch looking. You get that sun in the right position. And for any type of side fishing, this place just poof, just lights up. You run into all kinds of stuff too, like Terrell said. You never know, you can see a big perch, you might see a, a bowfin, you might see a pike. Come on. You yeah. yeah. White fish or perch? Perch. Jumbo? It's nice Jumbo. One. Yes, that's what I wanted. Yes, Paul. Nice. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> This is what I want. Bump board, bump board, bump board, bump board. You're a genius. Don't know Giant. if this will do it. We need a 13 incher currently leading 13 incher. It's closed. Mouth closed. 12 and a half inch. First Brutal. bite though. It's okay. Good year class. Long and skinny. Yeah, yeah, there's more here. Long and skinny. There's more. But they're vastly big. Such a good combo bait, you know what I mean? You gotta think yeah. combo baits in areas with lot different species potential. For what it's worth, I uh, my bait wasn't moving that fast when he bit. Okay, go slow. Couple slower. turns. You know what I mean? Yeah. Can we get the gold eye in a minute? Okay, we're going? Yeah. Okay. All right, next stop, gold eye town. We'll be on plane in four seconds. Everybody's got their life jackets on. Yep. Time for a gold eye! Gold eye, gold eye. What does it need to be? 15 inch? 15 and a quarter is good. What's good about this spot? It's a feeding flat. Oh yeah, out of the current. Pelicans are always a good sign for fish. They were probably feeding on gold eyes. Troller in? Yep. You don't need to hit spot lock or anything. I got that here. That makes it easy. Yeah, it should be super easy. Just boat sling him and out. We'll measure him on plane. Okay. Yeah, looks great. Good luck to you. One thing to consider is, like you've seen this elsewhere, I'm sure, but like even here you can see it, is the river has these rolls in it. Yeah. So I always imagine like when I finally get my cast length that I get the bite, I want to get back to that point. So I'm in the same relative position to that roll. Yeah. Looking for a steal. And also, I was going to mention the rod holder is quite effective for gold eye fishing. Oh yeah, absolutely. Dimple. Should we go right to it or no? I mean, if you see two or three dimples there, yeah. I'm, I'm happy with that. Wow, amazing service on the spot. That's the nice thing about fishing in Manitoba. You got a lot of good LTE, and that's what really makes the spot good. If you can live stream it, tweet it, vine it, MySpace it. Now, let me just ask you a quick question. Yeah. Not that I know they're everywhere, but when you get a big perch like that, don't you just like loop quickly or do you just keep rolling? I want to get a whitefish and gotcha. a perch. Gotcha, just you keep know, going. I, I think we're going to get that somewhere else if we don't get it here, you know what I mean? Yeah. so many areas. Just right? keep rolling, eh? Yeah, All I want right. to see if we can get that whitefish, man. A lot of moves are going to be made today. Yeah, that's what happened to us last time, right? That's right. We went quiet yesterday afternoon, the last round. Round four was a very quiet round for us. We're lucky that we had the fish. Yeah, how big? Spinner. See what I mean? Spinner. But okay. Little perch. I won't even measure. It's not 13 inches. Going back. All right. Stop and go. Drop shot. Small though. I know what you mean. There's a million that size in this lake. Slow down, Terrell, for one second. Oh, you got bites? Yep. I had a tap too. Got him? Yep. Big? Nope. Not good enough, eh? No. 11? I want you to BS a whitey while we're fishing for perch. So I'm thinking. I'll take a 37 and a quarter inch northern. Oh, do you see that, Aaron? Like within casting distance. And it sounded like a flippiness. Yeah, that was that was what we want. It's just good that we're seeing dimples. I mean, if, if whatever, if we see one or two more there, I think we slide over and just bottom fish there. 
Oh, 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 Talk oh, to oh. Me. Got slapped twice. Oh, that looks good. That looks, yes! On. Come on. Come on. Off, it's off, it's gone. Oh. That looks slappy, eh? Yep. Did you like that? Yeah, I mean, I was imagining what we wanted. Yeah. A river like this does have a lot of species in it, so we might have to sort through suckers, saugers, walleye. Yeah, that's two in that neck of the woods. If we were float fishing, you can kind of cast those dimples and it seems like you catch those individual fish that are busting, but in a lot of fishing, any fish you can catch on the surface, you can catch like 10 more underneath. Don't quote that statistic because 65% of statistics are made up on the spot. Got a bite right now. Come on. Yeah. That looks, I like that. Oh yeah, come on, be that big gold eye, be that big gold eye. Staying on this time. Positive thoughts. I'm going along with the net. It's coming up in a weird Ooh. way. Just gonna keep him off the back of the boat. Okay, here he comes right here. Yes, 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 yes! yes! That's a monster! Yes! We gotta keep going, that is huge! Huge! huge. huge. That's my oh. biggest gold eye by far! Personal best! Biggest gold eye by far. Giant, giant gold eye. Woo. We are in and out of here. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, Dakota Lithium. That's, oh, that's gotta hurt. You can see here's the vent. Dorsal fin is behind it. 17 and a half, right, Jay? Yeah. Well, Dakota Lithium, you guys had a pretty good day yesterday, but we're doing pretty good this morning. Woo. That is a 17 and a half inch gold eye. Come at Team Manitoba, I dare you. He's bleeding just a little bit, but he's very happy. Somebody can catch this gold eye when he becomes a 20 incher. There he goes. Yes! Oh, we got to go. We got to yes, go. Yes. That was a monster. Yes, 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 that was not yes. getting beaten. That's not getting beaten. So good, so good. That's big. I'm just picturing Team Dakota Lithium. No! <laughs> No! That's how the pike's gonna feel, boys. That's how the sauger's gonna feel. Team Manitoba just got updated. They added a burbot 14.75 and a gold eye of 17.5. 10 points. You're killing it, bro. We got ground to cover, man. Right now in my head tarot, I'm hearing eye of the tiger, not final countdown, so that's a good thing. We have a lot of time, but I don't want to think that way either, you know, but. You really don't, though. We have till nine, till dark, Paul. Do you remember how long we yeah, fished? There's, there's a gap, we only have till 12 something. Yeah, but that gap, I'll be looking. You guys can eat and do whatever you want. I'm on the game. I'm seeing a different tarot for the first time, right? There's two tarots. There's the entertainer and there's this guy. This guy, don't know him fully. He's as competitive as anybody. He wants to win, even though he says he doesn't. And, you know, his son Charlie is an amazing hockey player and he keeps telling me how competitive he is, but just remember that tarot, the apple. Doesn't fall far from the tree. We're at Nipawin Lake, about four or five kilometers from our last Lake. This lake has brook trout in it. We are carrying in a nice Dakota Lithium battery pack here. Super light, awesome for trolling motors in these hiking lakes. This battery pack should last all day. It's freaking awesome. I'm putting on a gold hammer Cleo. We're gonna do some rip jigging, trolling. So we're fishing for brookies here. So I'm gonna try just a little jig. These brookies are eating minnows in this lake, so just get it down there and pop it. Really steep, deep lakes are tough to fish. You don't have much of a strike zone at the depth you want, like a flat or something. So you gotta work along the ridge in the right depth. I would work an area that, like for an hour, not get a bite, and then I'd go to another area, work it, nothing. And then you go to one corner and they're all there. <laughs> Sometimes things come together, sometimes they don't. We dropped the ball, we missed a few layups, we had a few bricks. We'll see if we can get it done here. Fourth quarter, bottom of the ninth. Let's do it. Well, I'm really bummed out that we're currently in dead last place, but anything can happen. We're gonna fish this for the whole morning session here to try and get your big bluegill because that's what we need, and a rock bass. Then we'd have six. We have another like that, I think we can get two species done. Then there's a chance we could still come back. I just did some math, if we catch this big bluegill and this rock bass, we're only two points away from being in the lead. Musky and catfish. Yep. Things have to come together. Dogfish. Dogfish, yep. We could do that here too. Garfish, we saw gars. Gar. Yeah, there's a lot. Lots of buffalo, options. Buffalo, there's buffalo there. Oh, buffalo. All right, all right, dump me in. Big bluegill and a big rock bass. We gotta see what we can steal from Manitoba. We can't let them rack up five, 10 species, because even if you beat some of theirs, we can't offset it if they get too far ahead. 
You know what I mean? Tiger trout, no. Black crappie now, no. Bullhead, maybe. Rock bass, 1075, if you've got it. Channel cat, no. Buffalo, no. Sucker, no. Moon eye, no. Burbot, no. We've got to stack some points, Terrell, if we're gonna have a chance. Like, even look at it this way. I'm just saying, no, whatever you want to do, but we're at seven points. Yeah, we're gonna even stack. If we get seven more. We're gonna points, get them. We need seven, we'll be at Don't 14. worry, I got so many four spots. More, they're at 14. I think we're gonna run a gun. Kind of coming off that bed a little bit. See him? Just cast right back to that bed. That's a Rocco. I'd say maybe it's an eight incher, but it could be a 10. I don't know. Pull? Yeah, leave it. Leave it. He's coming right at. It. Got him? Got him. Nine? Let's, let's just measure him. Just yeah, to... just so we know. All right, I'm going to keep us moving. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we need to beat 10.75. Almost 10. Dude, there's some big ones right here. Really? I think it's a bluegill, dude. We're trying to get a momentum shift here, you know, like I can't get tied up right now. <laughs> what are you I'm, doing? I'm struggling because I'm trying to get this, my knot keeps breaking with this three pound test. Why do I have three pound test? I have no idea. Oh, look at this right here. What? Look, look, big, big one right oh, there. Oh. Big ones right there underneath the dock. Oh, get it in there. Yeah, here he comes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, here he comes. Oh, 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 oh. If we catch this rock bass, this momentum shift is gonna be just ginormous. That's a big one, dude. Yeah, he's got it. Got him? Yes. Biggin? Ah. Uh -huh. What do you think? Heck yeah, dude. That's it. Swing him in. That's it. Is that it? That could be it. That could be it. That's close. Come on, be 10. He's gonna be over 10 for sure. Yeah, it could be 11 inches. Could be. It's gonna be real close. 11 inches, 11 inches, come on. Dude, this one's smaller. No way, I didn't like hearing that. It's only 10 inches. I don't like hearing that. I think that was the big one in there too. Like I threw underneath the dock right on that bed in there. All right, we're gonna keep moving then. Look at this, right behind us. What is that, a turkey? Hey, you like night crawlers? Hey buddy, <laughs> that looks like a turkey duck. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Maybe that's our good luck right now. Things are gonna start changing. The turkey duck has come over here to bless us. I'm rigged up and ready to roll, let's go. Honestly, we can just troll the shoreline. The shorelines like we did for Splake. We got a depth finder, we can probably stay in 20 feet, I say, and try and get way down there. Go on speed one and rip jig him. We can go and cover ground, get a bite, we stick to that spot. One fish out of this lake, any size, 10 inches. Any size, 10 inches. Just shout it out to me if we get like, you know, in that 10 foot range at least. But anything deeper is fine for me. There you go. You can freaking curl up there if you want. You could use this as a pillow if you want. There's a fish. There's a very important fish right here. Get that now when you're done on him. This far fish is way out there. Go to your right. There you go. Oh, this fish is going crazy. I don't know, it's right here. Oh, oh man. It started to rain and we started trolling and I got a brookie on. Yeah, that's a nice fish. We are measuring this brook trout. Yeah, 13.75, I can't get any more. But that is a point right there and a nice fish. Nice. What do we do, Adam? Tiger? Yeah, we head to uh, Zeden for tigers. Let's go get some fish, you know? You know, if those guys keep stacking right now, boom, 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 we won't be able to catch them. You were right with the garbage pattern. We just didn't have enough garbage. You're still digging whiteies right now? We need it. Just have a rod in your hand ready with a worm in case we need it. You think a worm? I think so. Oh, what's that on the bed? Bluegill? Get your worm ready, dude. It's ready. See that big bed way, way up in there? You gotta probably get a little heavier weight so you can cast it farther. We're gonna just drift right in there. Once we get close, spot lock. Look, do you see the yeah. bed? Yeah, go ahead if you can make it there. We gotta try and catch a gar. Yeah, I know. Biggin'? Feels good. I don't know if any of these are 10 inchers. Maybe what we do is we just cruise by and look for a 10 incher, then fish that fish. Yeah, eight inches. 
let's just go check out how big these fish are. There's a bed look way up there too. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice rock hole. Oh yeah. That's a nice rock hole. We're gonna find a big rock bass on a bed. I mean, look at them, they're all on beds. It's a nice one. This could be it, this could be it. Okay. Nope. Okay. He's 10 and a half. Thanks, buddy. Dang it, dude. What? Need another quarter inch, we'd be tied. 10 and a half? 10 and a half. We're getting there. We're gonna keep moving through here, I'll keep looking. Can't make that one happen. Wow, thought that was it. 10.75 Rocco, it's like doable, right? We're gonna stop at this little crib, two minutes, Rocco. Casting right towards this what way, Paul. Here? A drop shot or a soft plastic small Rocco perch yep. or whatever bite. Love those sea walls. I always catch fish on sea You walls. tighter? Yeah, I, I think so. Ooh, Ooh bowfin. big bowfin. Big faux bowfin. You know what, go to the back shallow stuff, because this is a time waster, man. You Unless so? I do, I really do, man. I think you gotta get to where you can see bottom. Okay. Let me ask you this, do you see bowfin in this temperature? I do, I see spots one, like this? Yes, one. Where do you see the most right now? In the caney. So why the heck are we in cane? You just told me to go right here. Well, you, you were going in here. That's so all I'm we were, You just said two seconds ago, oh, okay. just go in here since we're already here. What if there's five in here? Look at how warm and nice this is. Come no, on. you changed your mind. <laughs> yeah, you just said, why are we doing this? Why don't we go to cane? No, the, you know why I said it? Because I asked you where you caught your fish and you haven't even gone there yet. But I've seen them there. Yeah. I didn't really try for them. I just did. Yeah. How many do you need? One. Okay. That's right. What's that there? What's that there? What's that? Slow down. Slow down. A pike. What is that? Could be a bullfin. Might think be it's a bullfin, pike. buddy. Hold I think on. It's a pike. It's a pike. The way the is sitting. Pretty sure it's a pike. Oh, it's a wood. Piece of stick. Rocky or gill or what? Man, a, a freaking ten-inch gill is so big. Eight and a half. Eight and a half, sure guess. Big blue gills. Not big enough though. Eight and a quarter, eight and a half. All right, we out. Guys, we're launching Clearwater Lake, one of my favorite lakes in Manitoba. You can see 15 to 30 feet down, and it is a prime candidate for sight fishing for pike. We filmed here a couple years ago with our buddy John B, and uh, we got some big pike, same time of year. It was supposed to be cloudy when we saw it was sunny. We're like, this is where we're coming. I am so happy right now. Gotta keep the pace up though. Like, look at this. We could not have asked for much better. The only thing better be four o'clock in the afternoon, but. Yeah. Ice only came off here how long ago? I don't know, 10 days maybe? Yeah, 10 days ago. This lake is incredible for lake trout. One of the best drive to lake trout lakes in Canada. Water's 52 degrees. I'd love to see 60 at the back, but 52 at the mouth is dang good. And Aaron's gonna be on the fly rod. So that's probably what's gonna catch the fish. There's a fish falling. Little pike, good sign. One pike in this bay. Is it 37 inches? A little closer to seven inches, but it is a pike. Fish, small, but that is good. We're just getting a little further back, water's getting a little warmer, and we got chowed on the swim bait. A little sucker imitation live target swim bait, and that is a very small pike. But a good sign. All right, we did a small jump from Nipawin Lake that had the brookies in it to Zeden Lake. And what we're trying to target here is a 18 inch tiger. There are tigers in this lake. There are also a lot of other species and we have never caught a trout out of this lake because we haven't fished it really, except for last season, 39 hours. Off we go. Long line trolling. We are a fair ways back. Our number one goal is get a bite. <laughs> however that possible. If we're up to right now, oh. Going into the last period, we're set very well. They have to be going for pike. They might. Oh, I got fish on. Yep, trout. Stink. Got it in reverse one. We're hooked up with a better size trout. Oh yeah, it's coming in. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Good, good fish, Adam. I'm going towards them. Tiger trout. Tiger trout. Come on, tiger. It looks like a good fish. Tiger brown. Nope. Adam, I don't think so. That looks tigerish, Adam. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's a brown. It is a brown. Nice brown. You think it beats 37 inches? <laughs> I'm gonna start trolling. Let me hold you, buddy. Zeden Lake brown trout. That could have easily been a tiger, Adam. Oh man. Just gotta keep going for one. 
caught on a live target. Don't know the series, but you could look it up online. Boom. Ripping it. It's not as easy as you think because it's changing in the spring. A lot of locations will change. Some will get better, some are fading out like, like they're not there anymore or they haven't come yet. So we're trying to find a bow fin, no luck. And we caught a couple of really small perch. Oh, we got a 12 incher, 12 and a half or something. What's next, Taro? Pike. Let's get down to business, bro. And how deep are we gonna be? About 15 to four. Okay. <laughs> we're here, Polly. Get ready. All right. I like how the, like everything's warm. This is gonna happen. You know, it's calm. It's that good. was another hit. Sometimes a pike just nick it. They're weird. They follow like, you know. Oh. Tarot's on. Tarot's on. Don't be a small mouth. It's a pike, I think. Yeah, I'm, pike. I'm coming, buddy. Pike. I'm coming, coming, coming. How, how big? I don't know. Okay, Feels coming. good, bud. I'm coming. Woo. Making me nervous. What can I do? Here. It's a pike. You want to chase him? I don't know. I think it might be big. I'm not sure. I'm not. Oh, it's big! Paul, it's big. Coming. It's big. It's big. Okay. What do you want me to I do? I think it's big. I can't tell. Look at it. It's good. Take your time. Tick tock. Oh, jeez. What do you want me to do here? Nah. Turn the boat. You want me to turn the boat? Or... Oh, oh! You might do it. Might. Close, eh? Yeah. It's really close. It's really close. No, won't do it. 36. It's gonna be close. It's gonna, it's gonna be, be close. close. How big? No, almost. I know. Too small. Oh well, but they're here. You know what I mean? It's Gandhi, eh? Dang. Nice. Oh, it's a good one. Good? Yeah. Big gill. If it's a gill, it's a big one. Okay. Ten? No. Nine. Nine is close. If there's a nine there, there might be a ten. This is a little goofy. I can't find my fly box. I found one, I gotta pinch those bars. I found one crazy actual marlin fly in my musky baits. And that's all we got for flies. So it's pretty crazy big, but we're looking for a large pike. There's a nice one, there's a nice one. Slow down, slow down. He's falling in, look at that. That could be a 37. Sorry. Did, did he just spook? I, I don't know, I didn't see Did him. you see him at all? I, oh no? yeah, yeah, I saw okay. him. That could have been close to 37, don't you think? Yep. Just got body checked off the nose. He should have moved. I wasn't trying to be too aggressive, but. No, no, it's fine. We've seen a decent, there's another little one in front of us. And another one, I don't even think that's the one I was looking at. Do you want to just, like any time you can, just kind of go? Try not to get a hook in the hand. Another one for the books. It's just nice to be out here. Fish, small. He just gobbled it. You see that jump? And I'm just helping clean out the nursery. There's another pike in front of us here. I will get hooked in the hat eventually this period, but it's not gonna be on this pike. How's that one? Should I cast it that yeah. one? Yeah. Okay, disappear. Is this just practice or do we? Yeah, and then we know we have a scale for things. Yeah, that one's gonna eat. One twitch. Yep, got him. That's bigger than I thought. Be okay? Yep. Net him or no? You could just to get it done with. It's not what we want yet. It's a surprise though, yeah. right? Yeah, those other fish are definitely big enough. Like this is a 35. Yeah. Do you wanna, we'll throw them on the board. Okay. Just so we know. Yeah. Nice chunky pike. And that means the other ones we saw were probably big enough. We're gonna measure this guy quickly. 37 is the length to beat, and that is a 34 incher. Yeah, they were definitely bigger. We weren't even gonna cast it that day. Yeah, amazing. Dude, that's a good sign. <laughs> amazing. So good, eh? Yeah. Oh, the fly lands in the water, he turns in a couple strips and boom. Think of those other ones that like, the ones are like, ah, oh, that might be a 34. Holy smokes, this fish wants to eat it. That pike is zooming. This is good, Aaron. So good. You've got one bite, right? That's all we know. I got yeah, two bites. Know. Two bites. Two bites? Yeah. I, I got threw friggin' swim bait. That don't, the reason, oh, this one's good. This one could be good. I saw the mouth, I don't know. Oh, it's off. Oh. 
I'm gonna break my jerk. Look at bait. this. I got them on the top. The scales on it. Those big pike scales. Just keep fishing, man. Keep fishing. Keep <sighs> he swiped at it. I got him on the back. Frag. I saw his mouth go like this. Missed the bait. Got him on the top. Brutal. They're here, Paul. Okay. I think we can get this point. Okay, I'll get a jerk bait out. Tie it on right now. Yeah, if there's a feeding trout there, we usually get them first pass. With two cranks out, that thing will swing 10 feet in either direction. So oh, I got one. Big fish. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. This looks like a tiger. Oh my goodness. I'm in, coming in. That's a tiger, Adam. It had that gold color yep. to it. Get that net ready. It's way out there. I'm going back on this guy. This could be a critical point here to seal the deal. Tigers go aerial. Right when you hook them, this yeah. fish jumps. No, don't. Just stay where you are, Adam. Okay. Good. Definitely an 18-inch fish, yep. man. Come on. Oh, oh man. Oh, it looks like another brown. Shot. Brown trout. Another brown. You're zoned into the browns. That's but okay. The good brown thing about trout that is that the, I'm gonna troll. Okay. You do that. Nice. That's gotta be 17, 18 inch. Don't don't even need to measure it. If that was 20 inches longer, it could possibly be an upgrade. We're on. We are on. Please tell me it's a 10. It's oh, wow. six inches. It's six. That's not it. You have less than an hour. So I where know. are you going? We're going right to that are point. Are you better to fish a spot for less than an hour? It's not that far. Fish. We're okay. right up there, the corner. No problem. Let's go. You got time for one spot right now. That's it. Just go there. That's all you got. Get a 14 inch perch, go. Go to your best perch spot around here. There's not, there's no best, they're all good. The show here, please be here. Try your drop shot, you got I'm doing drop. it. That I'm was doing the it. best thing, right? Yeah, I'm doing it right now. Gonna move. What? Is that quick, yeah? Got another spot That's there. it? I made one cast, I'm just saying. Like, you're, okay. you're, we only have. I know, Okay, I know, we go. Let's go. come in. Let's go, whatever you want. Yeah. Literally on my first cast still. Okay, keep going. No, man, it's your, it's your lake. Let's do what you want to do. A big one? Nope. But there's all kinds Little here, right? Chasing We're gonna have to weed. We're gonna have to weed, right? Unless, yeah. Like unless we, we don't have enough time to try to isolate. We have to weed. Whatever you think, man. I don't know, hey man, sure. Like I said, just whatever you want to do. If you think we can get a pig perch here or there, I do. Then let's just do that. Last cast, I mean it. That's it. At the end, it's kind of hard to get points, no? Well, you just gotta get a bullfin. You gotta get a perch. You gotta get a whitefish. You yeah. know, the things we talked about, right? Yeah, we got none. See one? Yeah, see one. I'm not super pumped on it, but he's far enough away that maybe I'll just try him. Yeah, he did. He's coming right to it. Oh, I definitely don't see him. Nice. What do you think? Eh, 35, maybe. Jeez. Can I motor towards him? No, nope. he's off, he's off. Man, that's a decent fish. My line's okay. Yeah, yeah. This clear water is so deceiving. You see these fish, you don't think that that big, and then you hook them and it's like, who knows? might be a thing. contender. Still, we've seen much bigger. Yeah. Nice job. Oof. It's gonna be pretty close again. He's skinny enough that it's impossible. Oh. That might be it. That's it. That's, That's it. it. That's it. Pike point. Yep. Right now. 38. Here we go. Going on the board. We need 37. I'm calling that 37 and a quarter. It's definitely 37 and three eighths, which is 37 and a quarter. We got it, buddy. We got it. Mr. Aaron Weeb on the fly rod. This we did, like. What are the other fish we saw? Bigger. 40 plus. We might spend a couple more minutes. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Going back to this crystal clear northern Manitoba water. Wow, wow. Yes, yes. <laughs> Another point for Team Manitoba. Manitoba's hands hot right now. Nice work, guys. Nice work. I just missed one. <laughs> I threw right in there and I missed one. Really? Why'd you do that? 
Well, I don't want to tell you what happened because you might get mad at me. You break off? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you on again? Biggin? Talk to me, team leader. I don't know. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. What do we got? Nah. It's a nice one, dude. It's... It's close. It's nine. It's beautiful. Ooh, ooh, swing him in. Dude, dude. Huh? You're close, bro. Huh? You're close. Oh? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come on, give it to us. Come on. No. No, we're way off. Nine and a quarter. It's a nice gill. What an absolute gorgeous bluegill right there. Big male garden beds. Just remember, ladies and gentlemen, always let these fish go when they're bedding. They're the next generation of big bluegills in this lake. The big old breeder fish. All right there, Jonathan, what do you think? Well, Larry, I think you should keep casting in there, Larry. Put that crawler back on, play the fiddle and sing a song, catching bluegills all night long. Well, our visibility has decreased in quality greatly now. So we're considering boogieing over a lake called Rocky Lake just down the road. We've been debating it now for a long time. If we zoom to that lake now, we'll have 40 minutes maybe. And it would be so amazing to catch a tulipy or a whitefish on Rocky. Okay, so we're going. It's nice that it has both, you know? The whitefish is beatable, and any Cisco is a guaranteed point. I think the next time you find a half decent perch, we gotta give that area like... A try. A little bit. Like if it takes one hour of weaning to catch the right one. There's gonna be fish coming, get ready. I got pike up there too, Terrell. Don't feel like you're yeah. lost. Uh -oh. Good one. If this is a perch, this is it. This is it. It's a perch. It's a if giant. this is a perch, this is it. It's a rock or a perch. Yep. Oh, nat, 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 yep. nat, nat. That's it. That's it. Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> Came off. Oh how? <laughs> that was it, dude. That was it. That was it, buddy. Came off. Oh my god. Keep going. I shouldn't have ran to the front. The boat was moving too much pressure. It was it. Sorry, it came off then. <laughs> Happens. Do you feel like that's the only 13 inch we can no. catch all day? No. Okay. But it's gonna eat up time. Chasing them, maybe. You know what I mean? Yep. We've been through this before. I listen, we, I agree. Yep. Come on, baby. Be it. Is it it? Moving too easy. Is he just coming spinning. towards you? It's a spinner. Oh, no. Spinning, spinning. Spinning dink of flurry. Spinning. They're here, though. I think we're going to get it right in the nick of time. Let's go. We got to dig right here. They're here, Paul. You just dropped it. Why are you thinking about over there? Always what? forward. Why do you got to keep like, reminding me about the fish coming off? Why, why do you got to be like that? I'm sorry, no, I'm not. I'm I let not. you down. It's gonna happen. I let you down. I let you down. We didn't get any bow fin. It's like any other day you're bluegill fishing, you know, catching a nine, nines and eights are so fun. But in this style. 10 inches is good though, because it's really hard to make, get a 10 inch gill. There he is. Okay. Okay. You got to reverse a bit? Mm. Just two. Big fish. Yep. Charter turning on. We got the hook dialed in now, so. I think that's a tiger. That's a tiger. Yep. What is that? It's just when he's gonna stop thrashing. Man, I think it's another brown. Yeah, another brown. Hammering the browns here at Zeden. Well, we just gotta keep going and see if. Oh yeah. If there's a, a tiger. Like our friend got a tiger here, hey? Yeah, last year. We are like rushing now to hit another lake and every minute counts. We got service I, and I'm waiting for just a flurry of fish to come. We're gonna tarp this boat up as quick as possible. Hit the road to Rocky Lake. Oh shoot, what's wrong? We have a flat tire. Really? Oh. Uh, We're gonna just give her. Can you drive like that? Yeah. For gonna, sure? Yeah. 100%. Flat tire. I don't know if I can, but I got a double axle. We're going to hey, just go. Hey. No, no, no. If this yeah, is going to wreck us for the last period, it's, it's not, not worth it. Us. It's going to destroy that tire. What's the worst thing that could happen? I don't know. I have two spare tires. So that rim won't touch it all anywhere? I don't know. We'll keep an eye on it. Well, no, it's not an I don't know thing. It's Well, it is an I don't know thing because I don't know. Okay. So would you rather give up 30 minutes now and deal with it? Well, or would you I'd rather, rather yeah. be screwed for the last period potentially if we. Well, what's the worst that can happen right now? I don't now? know. I'm not a mechanic. Uh, this is not. Ideal. Okay, YouTube video, the first one that showed up. You should not try to drive on one tire after a flat. Oh. Something bad happened? Yeah. 
Do the tires come off? No, but I see rubber spraying everywhere. Okay, should we pull over? Probably. Uh, Let's take a look. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna hit the rim right away, right? Yeah, we just gotta deal with it. I think we'd be feeling different if we were like zero points this period, but haven't seen any updates yet. It does take the wind out of our sails on the stab we wanted to do over at Rocky Lake for a Whitefisher or Cisco, but whatever. It's life. Last we checked, we're leading commandingly, so we'll deal with this and then we'll charge hard into the final period. Can you cast out here, Paul? Which way? Out that way. Okay. That might be it. Nope. That, that could be it, Tara. I'd measure that. It's gonna be close. 12. The one you had was way. Okay, okay. 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 So it's here. gone, it's gone. Yeah, so move it's forward. Gone. Yeah. It's gone. And let's just fish. Yeah. Measure it. 11. 10. Nice fish. 10. I'm a waste of time. Manitoba's got 11 points. Yeah. You have to be very quick and efficient about getting that species and moving on. Every species we've tried to catch took us like, except the salmon. But even that, we didn't catch the rainbow we wanted. Yeah, I think this is more a brown trout lake now, hey? Maybe if we get a tiger, it's just gonna free be a free. Oh my! Oh my goodness! Just smashed my hook. We got about 45 minutes left before we're gonna hit the road here. We need a tiger. We're gonna try and weed through these browns we're getting. Oh my goodness! Oh! <laughs> Sorry. I had to keep the tension there any way I could. Another brown. Another brown. We're into the browns here. Just pounding through these fish here. Let's switch. Nice female brown. Some supper, Adam? Yeah, go ahead. Those Conrads. <laughs> we deserve it. We've let everything go. No updates. I don't know what the deal is. Jeez. Yeah. Moral support, maybe rub your back a little bit. Thank you. I'm just gonna sit here and look pretty, guys. <coughs> I got a bug. Nicely done. Did that show up our fishing time? Well, let's drive there and see. Yeah. You know how I treated that rainbow? Yeah, I get it. I want you to baby that perch yeah, yeah. was like you, a tarpon. You know what? You I ran, bow. I ran up. When it jumps. It's pulling. I ran and pulled it. And you know, when the bowl was going. Jumping, it's okay. Bow. Okay. The pressure's getting put on me. We're doing it. This is Carol, it. This is it. This is it, buddy. No, it's not. I just want to see how fast he'd move. Oh. <laughs> it might be. It's close. <laughs> this is 12, 11. 11 pull, and a half, 12. Pull. Measure it, please. Yes, sir. Yeah. 11 and a half. No good. Oh, my goodness. What? Oh, my goodness. What? Six minutes, Terrell. Two pointless period. Oof. Oh, well, want to go for a rocko? One minute Rocco? No! The clutch man, it's him, he's back. Come on, clutch man. Is this the one? Oh, it could be. Is it? Big tail. Don't, Don't get me. Get the net. It's not it, eh? It's close. Look out, Better. look out. Tick tock, buddy. Better. Okay, I gotta get my line in. 15. Yeah. <laughs> Both of us are like, we're humbled. You gotta get humbled in life to learn. No, no. We're humbled right now. Right? Remember you talking TikTok. smack about how Manitoba was so poor anglers? TikTok. It's coming back to us now. Yeah, it doesn't mean they're not smart. <laughs> they're so smart. You did this to us. I never said they were good, but they're you smart. You jinxed it. Don't you know we're Asian done. culture? We're done. Let's go pre-fish. Come on. I feel like Barbie would be at least a 10 minute drive from here. So that's 37. So then we'd have 12 minutes to fish offshore at Barbie. Yeah, we should try. Who knows, right? A 14 inch brookie. Okay. We got the tire changed and 12 minutes of fish. We are gonna pull over to Barbie Lake. Team Dakota Lithium just entered a 13 and three quarter inch brook trout. Yeah. So we got a couple minutes, we're gonna make the most of it. And on a lot of these lakes, because it's the only gravel, like nice cobble gravel, pea gravel on Boat the whole lake. Rookies. So it is an attractor of fish kind of year round on these stock trout lakes. We were stuck behind a couple trucks and trailers. We should have passed them a long time ago. I didn't realize how far it was down the road. So we're gonna have like 10 casts, maybe. These guys have no clue how bad we want every minute right now. That's what's gonna be funny because they're gonna get out of their trucks and be like, hey guys, we're gonna be like, don't even look at me. You're using my oxygen. You're on our boat launch. We need a big brookie right now. Tick, 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 yeah. tick. Here we go. We're just shore fishing for like five minutes. No, you guys can do whatever you want. We won't be in your way. Was that a fish that just dimpled? You caught one yet? No, but a fish dimpled as I ran up. I'm behind you. What's time? This is it. Fish dimpled like not as far as we're casting. <laughs> Man, if we could have had like two more minutes even. What is it? 
A minute 30. One minute remaining. Oh, something boiled on me. Look at that. Where, where, where? Right there. He's following me. Or was that my bait doing funny? Nope. He's behind me. He's behind me. He's behind it's you. A, oh, it's, it's a brookie too. It is a brookie. Come on. Minutes? There's a bunch of them. There's like three or four. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's rainbow. Shoot. Oh. oh. The other one was a brookie. I thought I saw a brookie in there. Ah. The fish we needed, <laughs> the brookie, followed Jay in. That was insane. That was insane. Did you see the rainbow jump? That was a big rainbow too. That was like a 20, 21 inch rainbow probably. Jay, bigger than that? Was it 22? He's following me. I can see him. Oh my goodness. Okay, leave it. Leave it, Jay. What are we going to do? Do we for sure have the fish we need here? Do we stay here till the next period? Ooh. Here's the thing. The lake we want to get the brookie on is three hours by truck. Is it three hours by truck? Two and a half probably, yeah. Oh, then we have to get over there. Yeah, otherwise we're limited for other points. It oh. brings so much driving time. We would have saved so much time again at Brookie right now. Man. Like those fish were all 17, 18 inches. These were? Yeah. Or bigger? That was outrageous. If we had five more minutes here, can you imagine? Jeez. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Thanks for waiting. It looked like you waited for us a little bit. Thank you. <laughs> Great trout lake here, Barbie Lake. You should come try it yourself, and for more than three minutes, ideally, you'll probably get some really nice trout. All right, we were headed back to the boat launch because we want to check in. We have no service here, but we've hooked another fish. Crashing these fish at Zeden. Those are eighth or ninth brown today. This, that wouldn't have been two hours. Oh, but we are tired. We are past the zombie state at this time point in time. We are hoping this, this is our fish. This, oh man, this can be an epic point here. We don't know what the scoreboard is. No idea what's happening. And we need this point to be taken away from Team Manitoba. We're assuming, oh, it's down deep. I think that's a tiger. Adam. Dude. It's very colorful. It looks darker. <laughs> Brown. Brown. They're brown, big brown. Zeden Lake Brown on the live target. Are you keeping that one too? You want to keep this one? Yeah, yeah, as, well. as well. Possibly our last fish. We're just trolling to the boat launch. We're uh, going to go check in. We're just finishing up at Zeden Lake here for our fifth period, and we are going into the home stretch. Bonk. I'll figure this out. You organize the boat, put everything away. Okay, it's organized. We're back to our Conrad self. Yeah. We have finished our decimation attempt. Now we're filling the freezers. Because we don't know what's going on. With one minute left in the quarter. It's over. Oh. It's Ten. the one. 10 seconds it's left. It's the one. <laughs> it's the one. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 2, 1. Oh, they get in the boat. Oh. Doesn't count. I feel like you got all this pressure on you. Like I did for the bow fin. Freaking out. You started stressing me out. Why? I stressed you out? Go in there. No, don't go in there. Okay, fine. I won't go in there. Go in there. Okay. No, don't go in there. Why are you going in there? We have no time. That's stressful. I'm eating some chips. Give me some of those. And I'm waiting for all the texts to roll in. Service is spotty. Phone's making noise. Just let it all load. <gasps> Aaron got a bourbon. No way. Oh. Manitoba took a gold eye and a burbot from a, or took our gold eye and got a burbot. So we're at seven points. Tackle box lottery, seven points. Here we go. Here's another up. Oh my goodness. Manitoba has 11 points. They beat our Northern Pike with a 37.25 inch. No, by 0.25. That's all the check-ins I've got. Oh, we gotta go get a pike. Well, let's just talk about this a little bit. They beat us at gold eye too. Us to nine, them to 17 and a half inch gold eye. Yeah, we gotta steal a pike and a burbot. There's a 14 inch burbot. 14, it's like this big. This is the day to go for bullfin. And right now is the time to find them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Going into the last period with the lead, which is kind of a little nerve wracking, but uh, it's ours to lose. Yeah. Can we this, say that? This is ours is that to okay? lose. It's this ours point. to lose. Yeah.
39 Hours Season 2 is presented by Aquaview and partnered with Travel Manitoba, Acme Kalins, Dakota Lithium, Tacklebox Lottery, Live Target Lures, and Alumacraft Boats.